bitch, I'm flexing. I ain't got time to be texting. Hey, you guys, welcome back. So, jumping right into the video. This wig is from No Beauty Hair. Inside your box, you will receive an information card, a wig cap, and some clips. They also include an elastic band. Um, I went in, bleached the knots, and installed the wig off camera, but this is how everything is looking so far. So to soak this wig out, I'm going to be using my OGX Coconut Oil Mist. And I'm going to take... I'm actually taking huge sections, you guys. <laughs> um... I prefer styling my wigs while they're on my mannequin head, but um, for some reason I decided not to. And I was taking like really, really big chunks of hair and it just was not working out. So while flat ironing, I noticed that some of the hair was melting on the flat iron. I don't know if you guys can see here, but later I'll insert a clip of what exactly what I meant. Um, yeah, I noticed my flat iron kind of like smoking. I did turn it down because I figured it probably was just too hot. But um, even when I turned it down, the hair was still melting. And as you can see, like I have to keep running the flat iron through the hair because it's not easily straightening. So I noticed that this hair is a more coarse texture than the traditional wigs that you would get. The traditional wigs would be like more like a silkier texture, but this is more like I said, more like of a um, a coarse texture. So that could be ideal for someone who just prefers um, some more texture to their wigs. Not everybody likes that really silky, silky hair, I've noticed. So I will compare this hair to more like of a straight, yakky texture. So like I said, as you guys can see, I'm like passing the flat iron through the hair um, as many times as I can just to make it as straight as possible because I do prefer my wigs to be silked out completely. And here I went to go grab my phone because I had to show you guys exactly what I meant by the hair melting on the flat iron. Here I inserted a clip of exactly what I meant. Um, the hair was like literally melting. It was so weird. Um, I did contact the company and let them know about this. And they told me that my flat iron was a little too hot maybe. Um, they told me that was the first time hearing about the hair melting on the flat iron. Um, I did ask them if this hair was a mix between synthetic and human, and they told me no. So, yeah, they told me this is completely human hair. Um, but, yeah, I've never had my human hair wigs melt on my flat iron, so I'm not sure about that. So, I am going to just straighten the rest of the hair, and I will be back with my honest opinion about the hair and the wig itself. So after I finish um, flat ironing everything the best I could, this is just how the lace is looking. The lace on this wig was bomb, you guys. Like, I did not have to tint the lace. Um, I did not have to put any makeup on it. Like, it just literally melted into my skin, no problem. So here I noticed that you could see my cap underneath the lace a little bit. So I went on and grabbed my black hairspray just to fill in that area a little bit so you couldn't see my cap. And um, yeah, I sprayed way too much if you're gonna do this make sure you grab some brown hairspray do not grab this black hairspray and try to spray it on brown hair like I did don't know why I did that but don't make that mistake so I went on and grabbed some of my concealer just to perfect my part a little bit There's hair literally everywhere okay you guys um, the final look is this um, so my final thoughts on the wig itself, um, I like the lace color. I didn't even have to put any makeup on the lace. I don't know if it's showing up like good on camera or not, but in real life, it looks really, really good. I did not have to add any makeup or tint my lace. It just came like in this light brown. Um, I previously talked about how I only wear transparent lace because medium brown lace just looks terrible on my skin complexion so with this lace it was not transparent 
but it was a light brown lace. So this is what I mean when I say companies should have a variety of lace colors to accommodate everybody because transparent lace is for lighter tones, but you still have to tint it to um, your liking. So that was a plus for this company. Excuse me. So on to the wig itself. This hair color is gorgeous. Like this brown with blonde, almost platinum blonde highlights is to die for. Like this color is so cute. I need to, um, I need a longer wig in this exact color because this is so freaking pretty. As you guys seen when I was styling it, um, some of the hair was melting on the flat iron. I don't know if you guys can see on my flat iron, but I'll insert a clip that'll actually, um, I'll insert a clip of what <laughs> I was going through with flat ironing this hair. My flat irons really need some deep cleaning now because it's like melted hair all on my flat irons. So that's, um, that's a downside. I do know that this wig is super, super affordable. So if it is a mix, like, hold on, let me tell you exactly how much this wig is. Yeah, so this wig is, um, depending on how you want to, they have like different things you can customize, but this wig is anywhere from $75 to $120 for a wig, so that's super, super affordable. But yeah, this wig was super easy to apply. Like I said, I love the lace color. Um, one thing about the hair, it's not really silking out the way I would want it to. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if it's because of the blonde, but it's still kind of... Um, frizzy a little bit and I've I don't know if you guys see in the clips before this I was like constantly passing through to get this um, wig to be like super silky straight um, it's still straight it moves it's not stiff or anything but um, yeah I think you guys can see what I'm talking about like it's not silked out if that makes sense yeah, oh, so you guys seen um, right up in here was showing my wig cap underneath. So I went in with my, um, what is this called? My L'Oreal Magic Root Spray. You guys seen me use this on my channel before. And um, I use black and the hair is brown. So <laughs> big mistake, do not do that. Um, use the brown one if you want to do that. But um, I basically just sprayed it lightly so it can like have the appearance of like hair fibers right here to cover my wig cap up underneath and I just went in with some concealer for my part to define it a little bit but yeah this is the finishing look the highlights are just like on the sides it's not all the way through um like right here um I don't know if I flat iron this real good in the back, so don't judge me. You will have to go in and perfect the cut because it's kind of choppy in some areas. I don't know how it looks in the back, which I noticed is kind of common for companies when they send you bob wigs. It's like the cut is never perfect, but it's all about customizing, guys. Um, like I said before, don't think you can get these really, really affordable wigs and not have to customize it. You're going to have to bleach the knots. You're going to have to um, pluck the hairline. Um, you may have to tint the lace in some circumstances and perfect the cut of it. But other than that, like I said, the color is so, so, bleh. super, super pretty. Um, I do need like an 18 inch wig with some layers and some body curls and the same as that color that'll be super super pretty so while styling this wig i did get a bit of shedding um i'm not sure if that was from cutting the lace because i do like you guys know when you cut your hair tabs you are cutting into the hair so that could be a factor or it just could be like one of those wigs that kind of shed a little bit like i said it's a very affordable wig so I like to be completely honest on my platform to you guys like if there is something that I ran into while I'm reviewing these companies I will let you guys know even though these are sponsored reviews these are still my honest opinion um all the links to the beauty hair will be down below if you guys are interested in purchasing um I don't know if I have a discount code yet 
I usually, the companies usually give me a discount code um, for you guys, but um, always, always check the description box for discount code so you can get your coin off. And yeah, that concludes the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Um, liking the video does help me out a lot. So if you guys would like to see me grow and succeed, um, I would appreciate it if you liked the video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what, how you feel about this wig. Um, if you're gonna purchase it, let me know. And if you do purchase this wig, let me know how your experience with it was. Just write it down in the comments so other people can see it as well. Again, thank you guys all for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.